Welcome to the first episode of uh, Mother Misery, um, based upon uh, the module Corsa Strahd, uh, set into the world of Frostmark, and we're also using the rule set of uh, Frostmark. Um, together, I have some awesome players. Um, I have Adrian playing Nyx the Tiefling. I have Sean playing Krakus the Gnome. I have Judy hey playing Illyria, and I have Chrissy. <laughs> Hasn't fixed his uh, portrait yet, uh, but soon will. Who's playing um, Sir Oof the Goliath? <laughs> Lovely name. Um, big Oof. Big Oof. Yeah, that's true. He is a big Oof. <laughs> he is indeed a big Oof. Oh uh, my God! Why did uh, I didn't realize that earlier? Oh God. Um, anyway, um, let's start this. Um, a tiefling came to the capital of the protectorate, Khan Buldar, and he came with a letter, and the, um, the letter reads, My neighbors, I wish to make my presence known to you, protectorate of Copperbeard, to open a channel of diplomacy between us. Know that I, Count of Barovia, is the custodian over a large territory on the island of Domokan. I am now aware that this land now resides within the protectorate's borders. I will not bow to you, yet we might find a way to help each other. Send two emissaries to my lands, their passage into it will be a safe one. Your eagerly awaiting neighbor, Count of Barovia. And indeed, two emissaries were chosen. Um, Illyria, born of the noble house of Feathermore, and Sir Oof, member of the Argent Purifiers, a staunch paladin order uh, that believes that strength comes from you, not another source that just corrupts you instead. Together, they travel with uh, Nyx back to the island of Domokan. And on his way, um, another member is invited to this uh, mismatch group of emissaries, Krakus, uh, a friend of uh, Nyx, uh, who Nyx um, wanted to um, entice with <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> Delicious mushrooms. New mushrooms in the uh, Valley of uh, Barovia. But uh, Krakus is also on the journey of discovering a way to protect his home from the menace that stalks the swamp. Together they board on a small ship that Nyx used to uh, travel to, to the island that hosts Khan Buldar. It's a long journey. Um, the sea is thankfully quite calm. Um, Sometimes some rough seas, but no storms. And the, they arrive to the island unscathed. A day of traveling, and they're already on the road, um, inching ever closer to the valley of Barovia. Just change some music. Hmm. Oh god, that was the wrong one. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. You're on a forest path. Walking amongst thick trees on a road that has been quite forgotten. Underused, the shrubs are starting to take it over once more. And it is a temperate um, area. The trees around you are mostly evergreens, but here and there is a thick oak or a resilient asp. 
You have uh, already traveled for a whole day, and that day were very unassuming. Um, the climate, the the um, environment was very similar to the one you have um, on the island of Kanbodar. Um, Krakas, ha how many times have you traveled outside of your swamp? Uh, a if few, at all. A few times, a few but times. it's always been with Nyx. It's always right. been with Nyx. Okay. So this is a little bit fresh, you know, the earth isn't as wet as it usually is for you. Um, but during this morning when you uh, woke up and traveled the, um, some more to in uh, Nick's direction, mists started to gather, even though it's not the season for it. And as you walk, they become thicker and thicker and thicker and Nyx, you know, you're used to this. This is just normal for for Barova. You've gone in and out of this before. It doesn't bother you. But for the other members of the party, it's a bit unsettling. And in the end, you all slow down and eventually come to a stop as the mists have grown so thick in front of you that they seem to be a wall. Unable to see past it. And when you look at it for a second or two, it feels like there's something moving in the mist. And for a second, you grasp your weapon or you look a little bit extra carefully, seeing if there's actually somebody stalking in there. But as you watch, you realize that no, it's just the mist itself. Moving in a natural way so that the wind shouldn't allow. And sometimes you swore you see a claw, a moaning face and other disturbing visages, and you, you hesitate. <laughs> what do you say to each other? Uh, I, uh, is there a problem, everybody? I mean, mist is mist, right? Is that normal around here? Suddenly, can't you feel how nice it is on your skin? It's nice and moist. Good for the complexion. Crocus is just having P is just having a moment of PTSD when he thinks of like the hags back in the swamp and how usually <laughs> the mists around you and then they come out at you. So he's just standing there with like a blank look on his face because he's li reliving hell in his mind. Oh no! It's <laughs> okay, oh, Caracas. I mean, there are no hags here. Last I checked, but um, you just stay close to me as usual. Yes. No, he just he's just standing there looking very blank. They have it in the mist. <laughs> God. And Sir Oof Stogly walks ahead. <laughs> Alright, so is Sir Oof the one to uh, cross the barrier first? Mm. Alright. He uh, bravely walks uh, through the wall of mist um, daring whatever that is on the other side. Krakus, this will be okay. Hold on to my jacket. Is it possible to do a perception check? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> y yeah. What, what do you want want to search for? Something just in general, or? He's looking for the hags. <laughs> He's looking for the hags. Yes. <laughs> the hags. Oh God. Okay. Let's um. Um. Let's make a resolve saving throw. Not oh. brutality, resolve. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna bring up my sheet because I need to. Yeah, I'm done. Oh. Plus three. Okay. Is it just plus three? Uh, one d twenty. Yeah, one d twenty plus three. Yes. I, I know you're like cheating inside and out. Where? Oh my! The nose is right. <laughs> You stare at the mists, trying to find, you know, 
any any sign of a hag and under your uh, stern gaze the mist actually seems to calm down a little bit there fluctuating seems to stop and calm itself and okay no hags i i i, I follow the big one <laughs> all right you step through yes i mean i follow all right Lyria takes a step too, and Nyx follows. Um, no worries. <laughs> just um, you walk for what you can guess is like 20 30 meters. It seems really, really thick. And uh, if it were not for the road underneath your feet, there would be no way of knowing in which direction uh, you are walking. And um, it's a little bit stifling. Um, maybe a little bit panic inducing if you don't like small uh, spaces. Um, but eventually your uh, feet touch ground on the, the other side. And it's quite similar <laughs> to to uh, what you left but here the the woods seem thicker the mist still hangs in the air um, the path is a little bit muddy black pools of water sits like mirrors here and there whilst these um, giant and thick trees loom on both sides of the road guiding you forward Uh, Nyx will carry on as if nothing is wrong, striding in, breathing deeply. Does it smell like home? <laughs> yes, it's, uh, although not been that long, it's just nice to get a familiar smell. Too many, uh, sour smells recently, looking down at Crackers. <laughs> oh, no. Crackers is right now, he's just, he's just trying to step over every puddle and he's like, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, okay, uh, Ah, it's like and he's probably like dodging every puddle. <laughs> he doesn't want to disturb the water. Oh, okay. It's um a little bit hard for you, um, since you don't have that long legs, so it you have to walk zigzaggy quite a lot. But Crocus, uh, Crocus is actually walking like a um a tripod that is one point five meters high rather than his one meter high because he's using his trusty bent black and ladle as an extra limb to like hop over the big poles, almost like he's vaulting. Okay. Yeah, feeling the depth of the of, of the the puddles. Oh no no no! He's not disturbing the water bad things. Okay. Mm. Disturb water. <laughs> All right. And um, you uh, all travel on. Nothing else. Oh, wait. Um, you uh, walk for several hours. The um, forest growing thicker by each step you take. But so. Something is also happening to the sunlight above you. You didn't notice at first, but as a gradual change um, continues to uh, change your environment around you, in the end it becomes unmistakably. There's something with the sky. The sunlight filtering through the leaves doesn't seem to warm you as it usually would nor does it shine as brightly it's almost like there are mists in the sky as well as there are mists on the ground making the sunlight filter through gray and murky mm. uh, nixtra draws his uh, coat around him a little bit closer to <laughs> warm things up. Uh, try and get warm if you can. Uh, just trudge on and uh, 
casually like exhaling deeply so you can see the mist and contribute to them um he's not really disturbed by this fact but he is visibly colder hey. you see no sign on Saruf. <laughs> any difference at all Saruf is not never bothered you anyway <laughs> this weather has little effect on Saruf. <laughs> Great. Um, I mean, Illyria is like mm -hmm. somewhat concerned, but uh, she won't say anything. I'd say Crocus is a little bit concerned, but not so much about the condition of the sky, but more about the eeriness of this whole situation. And it's gone on for hours. Yeah. You see no concern on Suruf's face. <laughs> Stoic, so stoic as always. All right, um, you uh, continue <clears throat> for it seems to be about six hours. The um, day growing more late as we turn more towards um, late evening, and um, um, as the um, Early autumn sun begins to uh, fade. The fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you and ahead of you. Jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road, high stone buttresses looming grey, black and green in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework, do cling with cold tenacity to the rusted bars, and two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only in silence. Is uh, Nick know where this is? Mm, yes, um, you do know um, that this is the original gate that um, uh, led into um, the the Count's territory. But it seems to be that every every year the mists creep out a little bit, increasing the, the area that is known as Bar Barovia. There's another gate just like this one on the other side of the valley. And old, forgotten, cold monument. Well, um, mm. Welcome to Barovia, I suppose. Um, glad you could all make it. Thank you for joining me on such an excursion. Krakos, calm down. There are mushrooms to be here soon. <laughs> Looks like a lovely place. Uh, it could do with a little bit of a woman's touch, perhaps, but ultimately it gives off some sense of um, gravitas, shall we say. And of course, the great uh, Count loves his gravitas. Yeah. Oh. That's, um... not, not to be worried, uh, everything is as, as normal. I mean, you do have told us surprisingly little about that count of yours, but whatever. He has mentioned to me that he would like to do the best uh, introduction, and only I, a lowly uh, Vistani uh, tiefling, would do uh, the utmost worst. So, uh, at least let him have that privilege, I suppose. Sounds awfully suspicious. I mean, uh, he is a, a man of uh, performance and um, stage presence. Uh, if he likes to be the one to introduce himself, who am I to question? Then mm. let's go. Uh, yes. Oh, I, I, can, I trust I trust Dix as far as I can throw him. That's not, that's not a lot of that. Probably not far, small man. <laughs> He's stronger than he looks, okay? <laughs> yeah, you remember that time? I hope. 
but um, let's. Uh, there is nothing to be afraid of. This is just standard Barovian architecture. Uh, do you like it? No. <laughs> okay. Shall we carry on then? Please. <laughs> All right, Sir Oof. Um, continues taking up the the lead. <clears throat> And as he gets closer to the gate, um, where he could confidently um, reach out and, and open it up, there's a <coughs> sound as the uh, the gate opens on its own, beckoning you in. That's not ominous at all. Krakus just freezes on the spot. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> Can I attempt to close the gate? <laughs> right, you grab a hold of it. Hmm. Um, let's do a brawn check here. Oh, just a brawn? Yeah, just, just a brawn? pure, just pure brawn against the gate's brawn. <laughs> <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> brawn, this is brawn. Ooh. Um. It doesn't budge. Dirty gate. <laughs> move. Move, move through it. Right. Go in. Okay. <laughs> and one after the the other. You uh, gingerly walk through the gate, and as soon as you all clear, <coughs> it closes behind you. Hmm. What wonderful hospitality to open the door for us, yes? Just out of curiosity, what would happen if we tried to walk back out? I'm sure the gate will open for you. I... Uh, do you... do you try to walk backwards? Yes. Uh, you get to the distance where Sir Oof originally was. And nothing seems to happen. You take another step, and another step, but the gates are shut. Firm. Like they never moved to begin with. Hospitality of a prison, it seems. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's get this over with. Alright. Hmm... It's not like we can leave. Faulty equipment. <laughs> sure. I, uh, is just like, I think it's working <laughs> fine. And it's just kind of like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to follow next. <laughs> um, Illyria, when you take a step back and like look around and take a look at the structure, um, the wall does seem pretty intimidating here, but as you glance a little bit to the side, it does seem like this wall have crumbled in places. If you really wanted to, you could probably get past this wall, but you probably have to walk into the woods a bit. Look, you know, a pair gates that open and close on their own are usually not like, uh, especially not if they look this ominous. Hmm. I was I was under the impression that uh, knights from the protectorate would be brave and hardy, and not scared from a g gate interaction. Uh, should I perhaps inform the protectorate that uh, they were incorrect in sending you? Uh, will <laughs> she? I'll try to grab Nix. Okay. Will he allow this? Uh, sure, sure, I'll allow it. All right. I'm just saying that something about this place is off. Wait, are you saying that there is something about my home country that is not sitting well with you? It would with any reasonable person, but I don't want to insult you any more than I already have, and I apologize. I appreciate it, Elyria. And I'm sure everything will sort itself out. I would in appreciate the... if you wouldn't insult my strength, though. And she, she just sort of pushes him away a little. Uh, very well. I, um, my heartiest apologies. I, I did not mean anything by it. Just merely a slight um, uh, joke to alleviate the mood. Um, 
I'm sure everything is as it should be. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crocus is just studying um, Sir Oof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking down at the small man. <clears throat> I, I guess Sir Oof, you're about 2.2, 2.3 meters about there. Tall. Tall, yeah. And plus Imagine four. Imagine tall and not tall. Tall. Okay, tall. <laughs> He's very tall. <laughs> and plus and four yeah. to brawn. So and muscular. Plus four to vitality. Ooh, really hardy. And you look down on a about a one meter-ish gnome looking up at you with big eyes. Who's currently leaning on his um, choice, his favorite weapon. Yes, a ladle. Like, yes, a he's just leaning ladle. on it because it's like half his height. It's kind of like <clears throat> a half burnt, half cracked ladle. <laughs> I uh, lean to uh, lean on my maul. <laughs> so basically, at a distance, you just see That's like the same, the same size as him, <laughs> if not taller. Yeah. Just the, the attention, mm. just building. People can sense the tension between these two. <laughs> just staring at each other, in the, in each other's eyes. Yeah, mm. just that intense look. Like, come at me, bro. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, anyone who can draw out there? <laughs> Nick, what did you say? Uh, I'm gonna say uh, in gnomish uh, to to Krakus. I'm sure you could take him. A cracker is just, it speaks plainly, just straight brain for you. And you're like, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what his head would look like if I hit him with this label. <laughs> is that a gnomish? No, it's boring. No. So you will understand it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I turn towards uh, uh, to Nix and uh, El Illyria. Guys, done. Yeah. Shall we continue? Uh, yes, I think um, it would be best not to keep uh, the count waiting. Sure. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> You keep walking. Wow. We don't even need an enemy in this party. <laughs> 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 no, this is uh, this is juicy for me. <laughs> Good job. Um, hi. Right. You uh, you leave the gate behind you. Um, on this side, the uh, force takes its final step and its transformation. Towering trees whose tops are lost in heavy grey mist blocks out all but a deaf grey light. The tree trunks are unnaturally close to one another and the woods have the silence of a forgotten grave yet exude the feeling of an unvoiced scream. Very, very dramatic. <coughs> You uh, walk on for um, two, three hours more, but at that point, it has grown dark. Early afternoon, uh, evening has turned into proper evening, and the world's color shifts to um, gray for all of you. And your um, vision is limited to only a few meters ahead. Um, can we set up camp? Yes, you can. Would, um, would Nyx know, like, how, how much further it is? Um, yes, um, to the closest settlement, <clears throat> the village, um, you have about, uh, another full day of um, 
No, t two days more of walking. It's slow when you don't have horses. Mm, okay, yeah. Um, he he would uh, agree with the idea of uh, making mm -hmm. camp. Yeah. Oh, I just want to say that the way Thropus has brought the idea up, he literally just sat down and went, I'm not moving no more. <laughs> I, I'm not moving anymore. I'm I'm staying here. <laughs> all right. Perhaps we are all not as hardy as uh, Sir Uf over here, but um, some of uh, the little one needs a uh, little rest for his little legs. Oh, yes. And my ladle. And the ladle there is clearly the ladle. Which is slightly more bent now because the journey's been so hard. <laughs> Oh. Would you mind uh, if we actually took uh, took rest? I mean, it sounds like a plan, but travel like all day, right? Yeah, uh, if you would push on now more hours, then you would uh, um, fare the risk of um, get exhaustion. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. All right, you um, um, make up yeah. camp just beside the Rhone in an area that is as dry as you can find. Venturing into the forest like further than a few paces is um, something that Nyx would know is not advisable. Since there are wolves that stalk the woods. Also, uh, game to hunt if you are so inclined. Indeed. I was gonna say like food. What's the what's the food situation with our characters? Um, if we have it. Do you rations? have any rations on you? Mm, I didn't give myself any rations because I'm currently carrying so much weight. <laughs> I have rations for you, Krakus. It's okay. I have ten rations. So, I mean, if uh, you both, um, Elyria and Saruf, if you do not have um, anything to eat, I am more than happy to share what I have. I do have rations. Saruf, so, what about you? Do you have rations? Hmm. Hmm. No? No. No. Okay, so here's the situation. Krakus is looking at these rations that like Nyx and Illyria have produced from their pockets. Yeah. And he has one question. Mm -hmm. What flavor is it? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really call mine that have really much flavor you you've seen this before crack it's uh, just like a little dry breads maybe uh, some dry fruit and that's nothing serious but uh, keeps you going uh, we in you know we use these for seasoning in the in the soup one time you remember oh yeah 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 but i also remember that there was turkey uh, i i am sorry um i do not carry any turkey for you today i don't know i'll go and find some I mean, I would. I mean, you're welcome to do whatever you want, of course. And who am I to tell a gnome what to do in uh, such an environment, other than this is my homeland? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So, who wants to go with the gnome as he wants to go and hunt for some food to add to the collection, or even just have a look around in a sense? Oh, like, come. I just look. The Gracchus just looks at the big guy as like, hmm. He's thinking he might become food if he can tackle him. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> uh, I, I'll get started on a, on a small fire. Um, and you go out and uh, see what you can find, sure. Yeah, see, see you in an hour. Let's go, gnome. Let's go, gnome. <laughs> okay, so how, how do we deal with us, the fact <clears throat> that we've just gone off hunting? Mm -hmm. um, How are we going to go about this? Is it a good idea to let those two go on their own? I mean, 
I don't know if I mean how much you have worked with um, uh, Sir Oof, but uh, to me it looks like he could snap me in half with just his fingers. So I'm not going to argue. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he could definitely. Well, uh, so so I mean, you you could argue with him. I mean, uh, how much how well do you know him? <laughs> done plenty of arguing in the past. Um, as you like, Kaleria, um, you are welcome to help me gather some firewood and uh, set up a camp. Sure, I'll help Nixus Krakus and uh, Oof are hopefully not dying. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, um, are you uh, gonna go like stealthy and um, take down like a um, a deer, or a rabbit, or a uh, forest bird, or are you focusing more on like setting up some traps, or trying to find a little stream to fish in? What, what kind of uh, hunting are we going for? Krakus okay. right now is all, on all fours, nose to the ground. He's licking leaves. He's sniffing sticks. He's hunting like a proper predator. He's looking for anything that moves and that could be eaten. <laughs> what kind of food? You like crocus? What kind of meat? If it's move, unintelligible, it is food. He just looks at... Oof. <laughs> huh. Wait, so babies are... <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. Um, I'll look around for meat. All right, let's do some uh, survival um, intelligence checks here. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so. Just making sure I remember proficiency, right? If you have two points in it, you uh, roll with your proficiency modifier, right? Yeah, you're, you're full proficiency. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> We are only rolling nat 20s this session. Oh, this fuck me. If I roll, it's gonna be nat 1. Uh. <laughs> um, mm. There's a stick that has some toad goo on it that you what? accidentally lick and it's a little bit like Wah! So your <laughs> focus is thrown off. Uh, but I, you, you know, you didn't go into the forest expecting anything, but Sir Uf just cast his, um, a glance just to the side and immediately finds uh, tracks of a deer. Crocus. Deer. He <laughs> starts running off like a rabbit animal. <laughs> following Shit. its nose. <laughs> okay. You hear the wailing of a deer in the distance, and then it suddenly goes silent. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do a stealth check from both of you. Oh yeah, yeah. The gnome charging is stealthy. <laughs> Are you not trying to be stealthy, Krakus? Um, the thing is, he doesn't normally have to be stealthy because he's small and very light, so even when he stands on a stick, it doesn't break. You know, it doesn't rustle leaves, he just... He's like the wind. Oh. Um, he doesn't have two, to uh, try. I'm yeah. guessing it's plus two, yeah? Yeah, this what? is a dexterity, uh, not a cunning. Oh wait, so that'd be more, wouldn't it? Uh, well, do you have any proficient... Uh, any um, skills no. uh, tiers in? No, so it's that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so Ulf <laughs> is uh, actually moving through the foliage um, pretty quietly. Um, sinking up on the deer and you start seeing it in front of you. Um, um, knowing that soon you might be able to take a take a shot. Uh, but Krakus makes a uh, mistake. Steps on uh, some dried leaves. The deer looks up and immediately sprints away. Krakus. You had the time to make a attack with your short bow at disadvantage here. Ooh. It's a hard shot. Alright, so that's going to... Oh. Roll. Oh, combat roll. Yeah, 1d20 plus yeah. 6. Thank you. 
Uh, At a disadvantage, sure once again. Oh no! No! So hit the AC maybe? <laughs> um, yeah, the AC is definitely lower than 14. Uh, you actually managed to hit it and wound it. Um, it's not enough to, uh, to take it down immediately, but it's uh, bleeding heavily. It is easy to track it now. And um, half an hour later, uh, you have caught up with it. It's lying on the ground, unable to continue. And um, those uh, black um, eyes framed by... Um, uh, I was about to say eye hair, but it's so... Wait, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Lashes, thank you. <laughs> by uh, long black lashes. Look up at you, frantically um, blinking. Trying to uh, get away from you, even if it can't. A female doe, average size. Do we both? We both caught up to it. Yeah, yeah, we both are caught up to it, and it's lying on the ground, bleeding out. Will you just Crocus watch? Is gonna or... Crocus is gonna like jump on top of it and do its do his damnedest to try and like put the thing in a headlock and try and you know strangle it out cold. But he's he's a weak little no. <laughs> You're giving it a hug, basically. <laughs> yeah, with lots of air yeah! in it. I come stand over and put it out of its mercy. Um... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's misery. Misery. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy right. with a hug, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess. Um, all right. Uh, the uh, the deer goes limp. Now we skin it. Here. Fine, we'll try. It. All right. I'm gonna still Whoa. be. Crocus is gonna still be like cuddling the deer. Yeah, I'm gonna lift it up and put it over my shoulder, shoulder, shoulders, and <laughs> <laughs> Walk back towards camp. All right. As you uh, head towards camp, there's a uh, there's a single howl of a wolf further into the woods that you can hear, but it's silent after that, and nothing disturbs you on your way back to camp. And you are greeted uh, by a uh, campfire. Not the biggest, but it works. Yes, Sir Ulf and uh, Krakus return. Enters into the Wing of Fire. Of the Wing of Fire. Firelight. There we go. Krokus just literally steps out of the darkness, covered in mud, leaves, and his tongue hanging out because he's still, like, really upset with that taste in his mouth. And he just face plants the floor next to the fire. Just totally planks. Alright. Another worthwhile endeavor, Krakus. Krakus just goes, Mrah. I, I thought so. Um, Saruf, uh, quite a, uh, a success in your hunt. Hmm. And I plopped the deer down. A deer is a pretty, uh, pretty nice catch in these woods with so many uh, wolves prowling around. Uh, deers wouldn't be the most common. Are you saying we just wiped out the deer population? <laughs> no, mm -hmm. but you have definitely helped the endeavor. Oh, ah, pound it back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you um, you skin the deer, you um, cut up some meat. Um, uh, who has survival a skill? Uh, I have. You me. Uh, all right. Um, let's do cunning for both of you. Oh. <laughs> survival cunning. Sorry, I'm just finding out 
Okay, I think that's plus five with me. Yay, you did it! It is indeed plus five. Wait! What? Damn. what? <laughs> Three already? Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. But this is good. Get it added now. So you only enroll once later on. Moha. Um. You um make a nice um a nice stew for the, for the night finding a uh, a stream nearby uh, a deer stew and the rest of the meat um Krakas actually um expertly starts to dry with the uh, help of uh Chrissy um uh, Sir Oof sorry and in the morning that should yield about six rations oh sweet. Yeah. Meat rations. Meat. Jerky. Mm. Indeed. Meat. Mm. Better than jerky. Alright. You sit down, you have a nice meal. Uh, sometimes there's uh, a raven cawing in the distance. The uh, noise of uh, bat wings flying above. But otherwise, it seems pretty silent and calm. Mm. 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 Oh, well, Elyria, uh, <coughs> Saruf, um, day one. Uh, wh how are you feeling about uh, your task to come meet uh, uh, the Count? Hmm. It's an honor. It certainly is. I mean, the Count never sees anyone. He, uh, he's been alone for by himself for uh, quite some time, I think. I mean, I, I, I can't even remember the last time, uh, even if... No, I think this is one of the first times. So you must have been doing something right to uh, catch the eye of uh, the Count. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's reason that he is interested in diplomacy all of a sudden. Perhaps. I mean, that sort of information I have no idea about. But uh, clearly you're doing something right, so um, go you! And he goes, he's like two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it, it, it's do you usually get these kind of uh, tasks given to you? I mean, uh, what is your role in the Protectorate? No. Not necessarily, no. Yeah, yes. Hmm. I honestly would prefer to not be sent on uh, diplomatic missions because I'm pretty sure my name is part of it, but whatever. I see. So this is more just for the prestige from your name rather than you as a person. My skills and status certainly come in handy. Well, I'm sure you are very capable. Um, you certainly helped me get to that firewood for sure. But um, out of interest, uh, just between you and me, how influential is this name of yours? Crocus leans in as well. <laughs> I'm standing there. I mean, he's also talking to me, so I mean, I'm also <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> between you and me. Nothing and me, and, and no. Um, as part of a noble house and part of the army of the Protectorate, I was more than qualified for this. I'm usually sent to either protect or exterminate. And I look at him, Nyx. Say nothing more. 
man of a few but very poignant words, uh, Sir Oof. Um, I'm sure, Illyria, you are much more than your name, uh, as are both Krakus and I. Krakus yeah, my, an my amazing family. Been, yeah, my family's been growing mushrooms for many, many years. A particular breed, it's very valuable in my clan. Yes. Uh, Krakus and I have been together for, uh, let's just say, a while. I mean, we didn't necessarily count the days. Did you count the days, Krakus? What are days? <laughs> moons. Moons, I meant. Moons. How, how many uh, moons? Yes, 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 yes. It's been 16, 15. Oh, oh no. Uh, don't hurt <laughs> yourself, back. Krakus. Focus on the stew. Oh, the stew. The stew. It goes back to the stew. Keep in mind, he is stirring it with the bed black and ladle that has had all sorts of questionable things on it so far. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, then it's time to roll for disease. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yes? <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so, Crack how is it? Is the Grim Reapers nearby rolling <laughs> dice? Like, that's fine. How did you meet that? A friend of yours. Friend? Krakus? Yeah. Krakus is listening. He's like, <laughs> I'm a friend. Toby <laughs> <Shelby> has sock. Toby <laughs> um, <laughs> has friend. I yes, of course you're my friend, Krakus. So I mean, I uh, we met under. Mutual circumstances, perhaps you could say. Uh, we were both lost for a time. And it just so happened that uh, Krakos here saved my life. I was starving on the, the road, not knowing exactly where I was. And I thought, hey, uh, mushrooms are good. As I uh, found a suitable mushroom cap, um, I heard this uh, voice from the bushes, and uh, that voice was of uh, Krakus saying, That is not the mushroom to eat. Actually, there were I other. You don't eat so the blue as, one. You, as you tell that story, Illyria just kind of like mutters to herself, So that's why you put up with him. <laughs> Yes, uh, there are certain uh, things that I am willing to put up with for the sake of someone saving my life. So, um, Krakus, he's a good guy. He, he will look out for anyone. Uh, but, you know, he has quirks just like the rest of us. I guess so. Hmm. So, I mean, you travel, but what's life like here? In this, and this, and she just kind of like looks around the dark forest, like <laughs> lovely place. I know, right? I mean, uh, what a place to get a tan, am I right? Um, this... I mean, at least you don't have to worry about sunburn. Do of course. tieflings receive sunburns? <laughs> uh, now we no, ask a true don't. question. <laughs> Um, we, we, we are good, we are, um, we deal with the heat very well. Uh, mm. it has been a while, I must admit, since I have returned with, uh, fresh, um, more cultured eyes, shall we say? And, um, I felt it was time. Time to bring some people along at the behest of the Count, uh, since it was up to him, of course, he has the time scale, and uh, we, uh, we don't really question such a, a high um, directive. The Count doesn't really talk to anyone from the... Um, Vistani uh, groups, but uh, when he does, he speaks to the higher-ups, and then we say, sure, boss. 
<laughs> ah. Mm. Not that he's a boss per se. Mm. But, you know, he mm. lets us uh, coexist peacefully within the forest. I see. So. Mm. It was just a uh, turn of events, shall we say, that um, everything got brought together and Crack is here. Uh, he's been with my side ever since. Um, we uh, complement each other my very well. <laughs> Meanwhile, Crocus is just like, he's just sat down, just like picking his nose. He's like, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's a lovely little guy. Who's well, that? he. <laughs> <laughs> he rubs off on you, and I mean that in the literal sense. <laughs> oh, no. Should we get some rest then? I think you'll need your strength. I mean, if you don't get that much, there's still some walking to do. Hmm. I would Crocus. recommend though that um, in this area we do keep our wits about us, um, especially with a fresh kill nearby the camp. Of uh, course. I'll be the first watch. Alright. Who would be the second? I'll, I'll do the second, that's fine. Okay. Krakus uh, wants to be third. Alright. Nelyria is last. Of course she is. <laughs> uh, Krakus, as we have some time here uh, in front of the fire, do you want to do some identifying roles for the two ingredients that you carry with you? Absolutely. So we have a suspicious mushroom that was found in the catacombs with the vampires. Mm, indeed. And we have some dust from a not baby meat thingy. Yes, you have some decayed flesh from a flesh mound. Cursed yes. flesh mound, indeed. And the swamp. Um, uh, not the swamp. Uh, the mushroom. The swamp. The swamp. <sighs> okay. Bear with me. Mushroom in Swedish is swamp. So. Ah. Mm, sometimes it can bug my brain. Oh, champion that I got. Um, uh, the mushroom has a narrow cap, which is dark blue in color, with some white tendrils hanging off of it. And the base is long and narrow. And um, do you want to identify, try to identify the mushroom first? Oh yes, um, I do apologize. How am I doing this? Um, so, so. You so. want to roll intelligence plus your proficiency modifier equal to the tier you have in alchemy. And you have tier 2, so it's just plus 2. So all in all, plus 6. Six. Yes. No problem. Oh, too many spaces. Nice! Oh. Damn. You sniff it. <sighs> Taking Sleep. it in. Tasting it a little bit. Hey, baby. Mm. <laughs> it smells. It smells. Watery. And it has a smell of the void. <laughs> And uh, you're pretty certain that it has the um, essences of uh, either and um, water. Ah, huh. So, so at <laughs> like this moment, like Krakus is just like looking at this uh, mushroom, just like this is very questionable. <laughs> <laughs> so next, right. the vial of very suspicious. Powder. Yes, I realized that I am the one who should be rolling, not you. So, you have plus six, I am rolling. Go, go, go. Okay. So he takes the vial and he empties a tiny bit onto his tongue. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh my god, I don't have to roll for the seas now, it's okay, it's used to this. It's like, inebriated himself. Um. Alright, this is the... First time I'm using this, so one. Okay. 
Okay, Ooh, that's interesting. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Tasting it. Um, on this one you also uh, sense either, but you also uh, taste salt. Hmm. There's a bit of ash here. Quite a light as well. Tastes a bit more. Nom 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 nom. Okay, I'm Please gonna don't. roll there because you haven't. Okay. Oh, I thought you said don't roll. That you should roll. Uh, no, I am going to roll. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, that no. thing. The, the, you take one <laughs> damage of poison. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be prepared through alchemy to be safe. So yeah, he's just there. He's tasting it away, like, um, <laughs> num, 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 num. and he starts. He, he starts, and he just goes cross-eyed, goes, oh, yeah. and he just falls backwards. <laughs> falls asleep. He don't fall asleep. He's just there, like foaming at the mouth, like he's got rabies or something, and his tongue's hanging out. He's just, he's like muttering, just like, ha, ah, crow, ha. Ah. <laughs> Okay. He likes to think. He likes to like. He whenever he gets like knocked out or whatever, like he often dreams of his beloved grand grand Krona, whose name now and then does change. But I'm trying to stick with Krona at the moment. <laughs> um. Do you want to start uh, brewing anything tonight? Um. You do I have the time for a flat. short rest if you want to. Um. Uh, then I think it makes. You know what? I'm just gonna hang on to it. I think we're just going to rest. Okay. You go to bed. Yes. All right. Um, but in the future, uh, it is you who initiate, you know, brewing and identifying. Just you know, just trying to get okay. the ball rolling. Cool. Thank you. No worries. All right. Um, you take watch. Um, they are. Um, more ravens that uh, caw in the night. Um, they are bats hunting insects uh, in in small swarms. Um, Krakas, during your um, your um, <laughs> your watch, you see the mists take the shape of a woman. Hair, the figure of a female seems to be taller, maybe half elven or f complete elven. Um, the Grokus is seeing this? Yes, during his watch. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. So, my first watch, nothing happened? No, if otherwise I would have. Um, <laughs> and the hand raises, points at you, and then with another. S shift of the mist, whatever that was, is gone. Carcass. I think he, he, when the figure is actually just starting to like coalesce, he's kind of like, he's just taking over, and then he realizes what it is, and he kind of takes a step back. Uh huh. And he's looking for Nyx. He runs over to Nyx, starts shaking him. Yeah. White woman, white woman. <laughs> Wait, I mean, it, that was weeks ago. <laughs> no, 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 this one's not pretty. <laughs> this one's more not here anymore. <laughs> um, Nick will like open his eyes and like, uh, look at, uh, what do you mean? Is it, there's, there's a woman here? <laughs> he starts like, like straightening up in his hair. Like, where is she? Point her out. Like, that way! <laughs> just points into the darkness. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing but swirling mist. And Nyx looks at uh, Crack and says, like, How much mushrooms did you have last night? Ah, uh, no mushrooms, but don't try this. It's, it's addictive, but just don't, don't taste it. Uh huh. <laughs> and it's the, uh, the vial he's holding. <laughs> Nick sits close to Krakus's mouth and uh, takes a, a quick sniff. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll tell you what he smell. What you're gonna smell? You're gonna smell 
earthy undertones with a hint of sandalwood, but also <laughs> mushrooms, lots of them. And a distinct smell of decayed decay. flesh. Decay, lots <laughs> of it. Uh, Nyx like, kind of recoils and says, I, um, Krakus, I, 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 I don't mention this too often, but uh, since we are with uh, other company, you might want to do something about your breath. <laughs> Krakus just looks on his sight. Breath? The smell oh. coming from your face hole. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Is it really that bad? And starts trying to sniff his own breath. He's like, oh, it's not mm. bad. It smells good. Um, maybe in the morning we are just like on, on the way. Perhaps we can find some sort of herbs that uh, do something about that. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Is there enough time for like crackers to go like exploring for ingredients? Because I think this is a good time to go explore for ingredients, considering... Are you gonna leave the camp during your watch? To <laughs> oh, no. find ingredients? Yeah. <laughs> yes, to find ingredients, to fix the, fix the breath. Because he, he does take Nyx's um, opinions very highly. After, oh, no. after, as he walks off, <laughs> after, after the sun up. <laughs> Carl, because it's like, uh, 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 okay... And he waits for Nyx to go to sleep with the R, so I have my breath. Wait, do you, will you wait until he falls asleep and then you go? Or... Yes, then it oh. creeps off. Okay. To go and look for a leaf or two that might actually freshen the breath. <sighs> okay, let's do, um, let's do a forage check then. Yes! Indeed. Uh, um, yeah, we are searching for organic here, so it's, um, it's I who roll. You cut a modifier 3 and you have 2 dots in survival. Yes. Alright. Um, yeah, you do, you do find actually a brush that has a, um, f a faint taste of mint, actually. Pretty, pretty happy, happy find. Um, you can take quite a lot of it, so uh, you can carry with you like a few, uh, uh, like five or so tea worth batches of, of these leaves. So tea? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you can also I chew on them, but it, it, the effect won't last as long unless you you tea them. Yeah, we we'll have to we we'll have to tea them, tea them at some point. Mm. Awesome, awesome. All right, and you return to the camp to find that everything seems normal, undisturbed. Yeah, Crocus basically just goes back uh, back to where he should uh, should be. Is that mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing happened here? And eventually, you wake Illyria up. Um, Illyria's watch is quite quiet the uh, early morning hours even the animals themselves uh, who uh, calls the night their home they themselves rest as well and eventually morning comes yes um, <laughs> <clears throat> well uh, unfortunately, I uh, I can't say we'll be in a tavern by uh, sundown this day, but um, soon, maybe the day after. Hmm. Let's go then. I agree. All right, you continue down the road. Um, you. Uh, Walk until lunchtime when um, Sir Oof stops in the middle of his step as he spots something down uh, the road. And um, as you all uh, look up to, to see what he stops for, you see in the distance a 
wooden sign that has been plunged into the middle of the road facing you. Is it in Gnomish? No, <laughs> but it's a little bit too far away to see exactly what it says. But it seems to have some kind of like red paint on it. I approach it until I can read it. Uh, <laughs> um, you walk forward and yeah, it is um, some kind of um, brownish, reddish um, liquid that has been splattered on uh, to to read "Welcome, emissaries." And uh, around the sign on the ground is a fine gray dust and some clothing with a hole in it for which the sign is in the middle of. Mm -hmm. Question, Nix. Yes? Is there not a lot of traffic through this road? Or are they receiving a lot of emissaries right now? I, 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 I couldn't say uh, to the, the traffic level of this road. I, uh, I think it's part of the main road through the um, through Barovia, but uh, uh, this it's is been a part of the main road. Uh, well, it it's a road. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's an A road. It's fun. This is a good quality road. This uh, mm. is actually the, the largest road. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. So. This is just probably then a prank, right? There's no Why way that this that? shit is welcoming. Well, it would you agree, Nix? Be trying to send a message to us. Well, it's either the count or somebody else, or just a coincidental prank that just happened to be. But emissaries, when we are walking down this apparently maybe main road. I mean, it's not like the the count kept it secret that he was going to want a, uh, a diplomatic arrangement with the protectorate. Um, maybe it's a prank. I, I could not say. I I, I don't think. I, I know enough about this particular area of Barovia to tell you exactly what is the comings and goings, but um, my knowledge of the Count would be that he wouldn't place a um, poorly crafted sign in the middle of the road. So, you're saying, don't think it's... I can't say, um, Sir Oof. I'm sure your um, instincts are just as sharp as the sign is. <laughs> Can Crocus investigate like the clothes that you mentioned and see if there's anything that might, add, you know, give more information? Like, what mm -hmm. there could be anything in there, like notes or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You you uh, push some. Um some dust aside and um, you bring up your hand um, and look at how the, the dust clings to your hand this is not normal dust this is this is an ingredient this has essence in it Crocus immediately thinks he's going to taste it and then just remembered that one thing that happened recently with the last thing that was very salty looking it went, I, I'm just going to put this in a bottle. Do I have any bottles, actually? Do you have any bottles? I don't. Hmm. Well, can I just well. wrap it into some clothes, just like a little packet? Do you have extra clothes? Well, I'm looking at some. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit hard, though. Um, you you take a look at the um, uh, what uh, what's in front of you. It's very high quality. Um, it seems to be made of um, um, some kind of satin and wool, but all in a very practical fashion. Seems to be some kind of uniform. Um, 
they might have been like attached like armor to it in the past but it's been ripped off uh, off of the um, the um, the clothing um, the um, the sign as they say um, uh, seems to have plunged itself through this clothing um, so there, there's a hole uh, with clear blood stains uh, around it and it goes clear through the clothing so you have to rip it apart to get it um, free or remove the sign to be able to to remove the clothing um, there is um, a little purse that seemed to have contained gold uh, and other kind of coins judging by the smell very metallic but it's empty can i carry the purse yes you can you can probably use it to scoop some uh, uh, some dust in <laughs> you almost kept that away though <laughs> you almost said it <laughs> It sounds so like dust. A million, <coughs> dust. A million um, powder. A million powder. I mean, it was something stuck in my throat. Um, and with a sign and a bunch of dust and some clothes seems very suspicious. But yeah, I, don't know I mean, it will become cool. obvious when Illyria, you, you do see uh, Crocus moving around the clothing and you notice embroidered into the, the chest is the symbol of Duchess Nonnell. That used to be a vampire, then, I assume. Well, Sir Uth, um, who have actually been a part of some um, hunting expeditions of vampires, um, and has knowledge from um, the Argent Purifiers, that he can indeed confirm that vampires turn mm. to dust when they die. Mm. This is factual. Uh, huh. To the side, um, you, um, everyone with survival, can immediately see um, what seem to have been um, uh, wagon wheels and um, horse um, tracks leading to the a little bit to the side of the road into the mud and the grass um there are some items a spoon uh, randomly on the ground a uh, a chest a crate um some some paper lie uh, useless in the mud and um some glass shards but more red liquid around them uh, now turned like dark, dark red. But there's no wagon and no horse to be seen. Wait. Why aren't we on horses? <laughs> <laughs> You'll forget your horse. Hmm. <laughs> We got here by uh, boat. by boat, and I assume they just didn't bother giving us any. <laughs> Crocus mm. immediately laments that he did bring a steed, but it ran off in the darkness. It was a sausage dog. Oh my oh. god! Oh, but it ran off. Oh. Okay. I mean, um. Krakus, since you seem so interested in uh, uh, looking for anything um, of worth, uh, these are the things. Uh, do you, did you find anything? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I found this powder. It, it reeks of... Wow, it smells like my vial, so it, it could be useful. I suppose. I found a purse, you know, just like you tell me. If there's a purse, you should definitely take it, but there was nothing in it. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll still keep the purse, but I have nothing to give you this time. Mm. Huh. Seems strange. Uh, can you read the, the, the text or the, the sign one more time? Welcome, emissaries. Oh, that's it? Mm-hmm. Um... If um, 
Nyx goes a little bit closer to, to look at the, uh, the sign. Mm. Um, the liquid doesn't seem to have set. Seems to seem a little bit wet. Fresh. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, Couldn't be did, too long ago. Um, yeah, too long ago. So this could mean that maybe the people that made this little prank could still be either watching us or in the area. Is there any sort of like um, uh, tracks of like um, paint or blood or whatever it's been like painted in, like dripping in a, on the ground anywhere, um, or is it just like? There are a um, a few um, droplets of uh, blood like around the the dust and the sign, and then there's a lot of it on the grass, uh, besides all the shattered glass. And there's nothing, like, leading off anywhere? Uh, no. But there are um, um, definitely um, tracks um, in this road. Uh, but I don't know if you would have the, um, the, um, the expertise to know how old they are. I believe my character would. Mm -hmm. Do you want to investigate that? Yes. Krakas does it. Wait, Nyx, and so I hold him back with one hand, so I... So I snip around his... And you're like, uh, pat him on the back for guidance. You got yeah. this. And there's like a twinkle in Krakka's eyes, like, I have this. Okay, let's roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I remove the sign? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, it's not too heavy uh, for you. Uh, it's not like it has been... Um, um, it's more like they was hastily put into the the ground rather than like carefully put there. So a few janks and and it's off. Hmm. Am I rolling perception? It's probably uh, perception. You're rolling uh, survival with the cunning. Um, plus a one d four from the guidance. Mm -hmm. Wait, one one d four. Oops. Oops. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Um, there are indeed tracks here. Um, there seems to be some um, some uh, wagon wheels and some horses and some foots that have been going up and down this road in in the past. But there are also uh, humanoid ones that seems to be maybe just a few hours uh, ago um, coming to this area and then leaving down the, the same same way. How many, roughly? Um, that can be a little bit hard to, to judge, but three to five? Okay. Because well, it's like, this happened not too long ago. There was three or five and they headed in that direction. So, the direction we need to go anyway? Yes. yes. I think we just head on and uh, keep our wits about us. Um, yeah. yeah. We can't do anything here. Maybe just a small prank by uh, some people thinking that this is going to be funny. Ha 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 ha. And you like, like it. your like, your like, um, jacket and like, no, no, this is serious. No, no. <laughs> it's a joke, Krakus. I'm sure it's a joke. Nah, nah. <laughs> let's go. <clears throat> yes, let's go. Uh, good idea, Illyria. Let's. Uh, um, Saruf, would you be so kind as to take the lead again? Big mm. man, big oof. <laughs> Is the big oof carrying the sign? Yes. <laughs> Are you taking it with you? Taking it with. Oh. <laughs> I'm carrying the sign. Oh, okay. Right. You're not dragging it like Pyramid Head or something. You're just carrying it. <laughs> yeah, just carrying it. Okay, okay. Less, less sinister. <laughs> if I meet the pranksters. <clears throat> They're oh. gonna get pranked with a sign that's still wet with blood. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright. Um... You uh, walk, continue your uh, your journey, and just like um, yesterday, 
um, afternoon becomes early evening and early evening becomes just evening. <laughs> Um, wow. Yes, very, very well said of me. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, you will see a little bit of a um, of a hill in in front of you, and you decide to head up of, on it before you uh, rest for the evening, um, and that is when you uh, come across this view as you crest as you crest the hill. I wasn't sure if it could get any more depressed, but it just got a bit more depressed. It's a that's beautiful vista. What are you talking about, Saruf? That's a bit rude to say, Saruf. Well, not wrong. <laughs> we are here as diplomats. So we should probably respect the uh, country. Hmm. Gracchus just basically sits down on the grass studying the lay of the land. I'm just narrowing my eyes. Hmm. <laughs> um, uh, here... Uh, Nix can point out some things to you. Uh, uh, he points out the um, the river uh, Ivlis that runs through uh, uh, the the Brovian Valley um, that falls in the Tsir Fall over there. It's very faint, uh, but it's over there. He of course points out the um, the village of Barovia, um, far away in the distant distance you think that maybe a half a day more walking and that you will uh, reach the um, the gates um, of, of the village there's some uh, farmlands uh, surrounding it several smaller buildings uh, in small clusters um, utilizing as much as possible the uh, the open area that seems to be um, quite um, where <laughs> in these thick woods and looming above it all is um, the Count's home um, as Nyx um, calls it Castle Ravenloft yeah, um, It's been a while since I've seen uh, Barovia village and uh, I can tell you Krakus Blood of the Vine Tavern. Who the what? The blood of the Vine Tavern. Um, it exists in the village. Uh, the blood of the Vine Talon, uh, Tavern. The sisters there. Mwah, you wouldn't believe how they enjoy a good night of fun. Um, you'll see. You'll see tomorrow. I'm sure. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for some fun, them they, they, they do a good party. Uh, they know me for sure. Crocus is is just just looking at the, looking back at the village and it's just like it is a bit gloomy. <laughs> See, I mean, what do you want? I mean, do you want a good time or do you want sun? Sun. <laughs> You're not going to have a good time, so. <laughs> yeah, actually, it would be too bad. For the lack of the the light. Um, the village of Barovia certainly makes up with hospitality. That I can guarantee. Hmm. And mushrooms make good on a deal. Ah, certainly. Um, you see there on the right, uh, the crackers towards um, Ravenloft in the foothills there. Uh, there are some particularly interesting mushrooms, I'm sure. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't sound like Very it. Very well. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. All right. Prakas just returns to sitting down and pondering if it'd be faster to go by river or barrel. <laughs> Are you a barrel with you? <laughs> the barrel rider. 
But do you have a barrel? Yeah, yeah. Do you have a barrel up your ass somewhere? Well, oh, no! no. He wondered what he has. Barrels he does not. Okay. <laughs> getcha. But there is a log <clears throat> nearby <laughs> that catches his eye. Yes. Um, all right. Um, you make camp with this um, fantastic view in front of you. Uh, you definitely have uh, rations, so remove those from the pot inventory. Gotta keep healthy. Gotta keep. Uh, gotta stave that uh, hunger away. Otherwise, who knows what could happen. Uh, and threat. Right. I would propose that we eat crackers first, but that sounds like a horrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> we should well, definitely get the oof. He has marinated quite well. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if you think about it, crackers yeah. is covered in mud, leaves, and no, we haven't stopped to wash. Yeah, so. that's why I'm like that's. You know, not a good idea. You know, to the gnomes, Crocus is actually pretty sexy and he has flawless skin, thanks to all the mud. I don't doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> 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 Alright. Uh, you, uh, you make camp. Um, make a little fire again. Eat your uh, rations. Do some bickering, I hear. <laughs> yeah, Crocus is caught going through oof stuff. Oh, oh god. Okay. So oof. I'm going through my stuff? Yes, your stuff. Don't find much. <laughs> Crocus is literally, it's just like his legs are playing in the air as he's in this bag. <laughs> Into sniff we're gonna hear lots of sniffing. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I in the bag. There's mm -hmm. basic camping supplies. Mm-hmm. And not nothing else. <laughs> not even fresh underwear. I was about to say that not even fresh underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Goliath's uh, a custom of not wearing underwear. So, uh, I mean. Damn. Yeah. All yeah. yeah. natural. Hang out. All natural. <laughs> oh my. I mean, it's. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I think we Out of interest, um, yeah. just uh, for the sake of both the stream and for, for us, uh, mm -hmm. what does Eser Oof look like? Mm. Uh, maybe we should do it for all of us. I yeah, suppose. let's do that. Okay, well, I don't have a picture reference, but Paul, <laughs> obviously, uh, very muscular uh, with more... He doesn't have a belly per se, but he has like a decent amount of fat on him. He's not like muscularly defined. He's just he's strong. Mode. Uh, he's wearing like this hide leather from some type of animal. Are yeah. you sure? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> the day you uh, killed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> carrying a maul, uh, bald, uh, no. Tattoos that you can see. Uh, and uh, his skin is. It's on the a bit darker side for a Goliath. It's not as white as some Goliath skins are. Mm. And that's about it. I mean, his, his face is average. Goliath <laughs> face. Not handsome, not ugly. It's Goliath. It's a big <laughs> nose. <laughs> kind of hairy. No, no, it doesn't. Do they have eyebrows? Do Goliaths have eyebrows? You can have uh, eyebrows if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it helps to expression. Can I paint it a bit? <laughs> but uh, normally. Um, <laughs> Lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> normally, Goliaths are completely hairless. Hmm. Mm. Don't have eyebrows. 
<laughs> don't have an eye any eyebrows. Hmm. So you just look like a big potato. Naturally, mm. though, there usually are some kind of um, uh, tattoos that appear mm. naturally that can form like an eyebrow shape. It's pretty common for social expression, but it doesn't have to. No, no, no. No <laughs> tattoos above neck. <laughs> no. Oh, so it's just a gray face. It's a gray face, closer to like a gray stone. Mm. Mm, a dark stone, re relatively dark stone. Like wet stone. That's the color. And now I'm even more terrified of Sir Oof. Mm -hmm. I mean, not Illyria. Julie is. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getcha. Alright. Illyria, why don't you go then? <clears throat> so, uh, Illyria is a half elf with the sort of like a little bit shorter uh reddish brown hair uh i do have my token mm, yeah you did and um looks great <laughs> thanks uh she's um wearing uh some uh leather armor with a <laughs> rapier on her side and she's you know, very like basic, functional cool thing. I'd like to say that she's pretty. I think she's pretty. Uh <laughs> you you are definitely you are pretty. <laughs> she she might not think that, but She's not pretty if she was a no. <laughs> How do you know? Are you a if you say that I am a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you say that, you gotta have, like, a rapier just, like, just past your face. <laughs> no, Croc is a sticky with it. He's just like, meh. Small nose. Like, big eyes. Meh. Meh. The bigger the nose, the prettier the lady. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes. And the more blemishes. Adds character. <laughs> Well, right. thank God I'm not a gnome. Speaking of gnomes, Krogus is quite musty, but how musty is he? How musty? Alright, so... Keep in mind that Krogus... Krogus is a meter tall. And his, his strength is pretty average if you're taller, like the size of Nyx or Illyria. So his muscle definition is reasonably good. He's got um, a lot of little like freckles and blemishes. He has got a massive noggin of a nose. He's got beautiful, beautiful amber eyes that seem to glow in the darkness. And his hair is an afro, kind of similar to Bob Ross. His clothing is a bit tattered. It's, uh, it's sewn together with patches and things like that. And it's just, just, just what he wears is just not well kept at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. He has got big hairy feet and doesn't wear shoes. Of course. It's a stereotypical thing to do with, like, pint-sized people, but... <laughs> yeah. He must feel the earth below him. He must feel it between his toes. Find yeah. the mushrooms better. Mm. He oh. smells through the toes. No, 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 he oh smells the food as well as tastes the air like a <laughs> reptile. <laughs> a reverse reptile. But yeah, that's the crux. Oh, uh, he has a. He has quite a large, noticeable scar on his forehead from a previous encounter with a possessed suit of armor. Oh, but no. uh, he's, pretty, he's got a pretty nice looking head. Nice well, looking head. that's interesting because. That no. didn't happen. Yeah. It did, though. It did. It did. Krakus was high on mushrooms at the time. He fell, hit a rock, and he had a dream. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. He believes that he got punched in the face. No, with I the decide. I decide. <gasps> dream of it. <gasps> oh, my God. The Grim Reaper decides when we sleep as well. <laughs> oh. I am the god of this realm. <laughs> But you may yeah. have a scar anyway, but... 
Um, if you met another armored fist. The armored fist. How many yeah. armored fists has he ever, has he encountered? It's a swamp. You just come across them now and then. You know, you just you sniff across the ground. You know, all four sniff across the ground, and suddenly a fist just comes out, punk, in his face. It happens. It happens. But that's up to the Grim Reaper to decide whether that's true or not. <laughs> in my head, the thought of like uh, <laughs> of a Disney cartoon uh, boxing glove. With, on a feather string comes up in my mind, but like a mushroom instead. Point. <laughs> <laughs> I can pop up on the f in the swamp <laughs> if you take a wrong step. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway. I know, I know. I like it. Silence. Anyway. anyway. Yes, that was Krakus. And uh, last, but certainly not least, Nyx. Uh, Nyx is a mid-twenties or so, um, amethyst purple tiefling with, uh, dark purple hair, styled back in a pompadour cut, so short back and sides, but, like, big on the top and sleeked back. Mm. He's about five foot seven and, uh, visibly not muscular, but well kept and clean. He certainly looks after his appearance. His horns curl back and around his pointed ears like a ram, and one of the ends has a silver chain looped around it, which connects to a pierced ear. His eyes are a vivid crimson, and he has a visible tattoo on the side of his uh, face, like mm -hmm. on his jaw, perhaps, like... um. Uh, like half on his neck, half on the side of his face. Um, amongst other visible tattoos uh, elsewhere on his body. Um, and it goes down his neck and across his chest and it's visible through the, um, the open purple jacket, uh, long flowing jacket, chain shirt and the loose um, tan shirt on underneath. Um, the 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 jacket is adorned with clearly obvious gypsy markings and his fairly long tail is bound with bright colored sashes that flow in the wind as he walks he doesn't carry any weapons but an old book dangles freely from his hip attached by a brass chain to his belt um don't you also have a an interesting depiction on your jacket uh, yes, there is a depiction of um, a scene um, um, amongst the other gypsy symbology and uh, like tribal esque of it, um, and it looks like some sort of mythological scene or battle um, that seems to be like the whole jacket was stitched around it. Mm -hmm. Very nice, except. The Imperial measurements. <laughs> Sorry, I was going with what? Yeah, 179 centimeters. <laughs> there we go. Be civilized people here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned how tall Lyria is. She's like about 175 or so. Pretty average. I'm yeah. tall. Yeah, <laughs> you're tall. Okay. <laughs> you're tall. Yeah, we're all He's small compared to... Yeah. 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 I might have a picture, actually, that you might like. Anyway, um, so, is there anything specific you want to talk about during dinner? Um, you have any questions about uh, Barovia? I, I can answer some of them. Hmm. No. And wasn't the place assumed to be uninhabited? Did I get that right? Yeah. Uh, from what the protector knew, they, they thought this place yeah. was largely uninhabited. Well, according to the protector, this place was largely uninhabited. Uh, so... 
Curious that you will receive an invitation from Belovia then. Well, of course. We are a small people, I suppose. I mean, I kind of stick to the outskirts with my uh, uh, gypsy family, but um, there's a certain amount of people, a, a fair few, not thousands and thousands, perhaps, but you know, uh, a few in uh, s several settlements around uh, in the mists, but um, we do all right, I suppose. Uh, what more can you ask for if uh, you are kept away from uh, the rest of the world, which has such amazing uh, alcohol and women? Uh, you just uh, do what you can. I mean, I'm sure other places have alcohol and women too, and sun. Right, right. But, um, Eliri, it's, um, let me put it this way. If you've had the same wine over and over and over and over, eventually their touch gets a little cold. Crocus is eyeing up the powder from earlier that he um, put into the purse and thinking about they get a bit cold and just looks up and it's like, hmm. Currently have a very confused face and say, wait, you drink wine hot? <laughs> I mean, I get... Nick screams at it. I get room temperature, but hot? <laughs> hmm. It's just nice to have a different taste once in a while. I certainly no. did not realize that there were so many different flavors. Hmm. Sometimes when you say things, they sound weird. <laughs> not ah, in a mean way, but in a creepy way. Well, like maybe that is fresh. Just fre fresh? Yeah. You, you don't like the way I say fresh? Sir, no. No. Fresh. 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 <laughs> no, so when he says it. <laughs> fresh. Nothing. Nothing. You say it? Fresh. Yes, it's... Yeah. Uh, it has uh, extra I'm... charm just for you, sir. Oof. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Weird, but okay. I'll continue eating. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so funny to me. Um, as you uh, sit um, and, and eat, um, as the... Um, conversation dies down slightly into a bearable like level of intensity between you two which is bearable <laughs> um there's a wolf howl Ow. coming from uh, the the woods is deep more growly than uh, most wolves you have uh, heard so far but you know, you heard some uh, wolves uh, in the night as you were keeping watch and um, as you went out hunting you heard another one so you don't think too much about it until another one howls and another one and another one and one other one that is very very close and suddenly you all have the prickling feeling that you are not alone. Let's take a break! <laughs> if you need to uh, refill your glasses, um, go quickly to the powder room. Gather your wits, whatever you need to do. And then please do so. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh no. 
Uh, I will quickly grab some water, and I'll be right back. Just help. Same. Don't really need anything, so I'm staying here. <laughs> same. Same, 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 same. Uh, the party gets along well so far. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta change a thing. Uh, huh? uh, I gotta change a thing. Da, 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 da. Nope, no, nope, that's that's not what you do. I need to change my character's token to the same token as the token I've created on the main Pidgey. Oh yeah, yeah. So you go to your character in the uh, uh, journal <clears throat> and you click edit. Um, oh, you can remove the one you have and update it. Okay. I remove, click, and voila. Save. No, I was waiting nice. for it to load. There we go. Nice. There you go. Know me, don't you know me? Yeah, so the thick boy, he uh, is bald, has no eyebrows. Yes? Yeah, yeah. From, yeah from what you can see, devoid of hair. I, I feel like I need to share an image I had sent over. Oh the my place. god. <laughs> to ingrate it into your mind. What comes to mind? Oh no. Oh no. There you go. Curse the old one, please. Really? No eyebrows, no expression. Look at those soulless <laughs> dead eyes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday <Dale. laughs> Uh, the only thing I'm going to say in this situation that is arising, mm -hmm. my character has the ability, when ability. he's tracking, mm -hmm. to know how many nasties are in the area. Does that count? Because we're being tracked. I don't know. <laughs> Which ability are we talking about? We're talking about Natural Explorer. Alright, so for Predator. Yeah. I'm going to take raw, a little raw. peek. A little peeky peeky. Yeah, I could just speak. send you the text. Uh, it's a lot of, quite a lot of text for Natural Explorer. Yes. <sighs> you happy Sorry. about that? No, no, um, I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. Mind, mind. I don't mean to make your life hell. <laughs> I feel like a redaction. I still haven't really decided what Krakus's hair is. I just must say, <laughs> I feel like it goes through phases, like uh, Afro, it... wild. Are we starting yet? Uh, is Nyx back? Uh, no. Oh. Yes, I am nice. back. Nice. <laughs> I mean, uh, Elyria will probably change a bunch of times in the future. Yes. Oh. The mists have that effect on your skin. And your hair color. And I your mean, so color. I keep it largely eye. the same, but I'm not able to draw the same person twice since I have, like, no consistency whatsoever, so there's that. Crocus, it's as oh, well... No, Everyone. While you're tracking other creatures, you also learn their exact number, their size, and how long ago they passed through the area. So it's oh. when you're tracking, and it's those the tracks you find. Now you're can sitting I... and having food. Oh, can I turn on the divine sense and have it uh, track, like, animals? Uh, or wolves? Uh, do you, can you choose what you have, divine sense? It says, you know the location of three creature types of your choice within 12 meters. Oh, she says that. Then, then you ah. choose which creature types that your ability affects. So oh. you get to choose like animals, beasts, fiends, celestials. Is that like stuck? Ooses, yeah, yeah, it's constant. Oh. Yeah. You choose, no like, flipping a coin. <laughs> so I can't like choose different three creatures each time? No, no. You, okay. you choose which, which three that your ability affects. I feel like an expert in whales today. <laughs> hey, I mean, <laughs> I'm not dissing. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Is you're probably already aware. Neither do I. It's fine. But you're an expert at baby killing. Oh no! <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, Walter, <laughs> oh, did oh, not a baby. Okay, let's calm down. Um, so. Oh, it froze. No. So, have you chosen which city? No, no, not, not anymore because uh, I was 
I haven't. I thought it was like a two, so now I have to think. But I want to choose. That makes sense. All it's right. gonna take a bit. All right. So we just. I don't think it's necessary because um, you uh, see them stalking yeah, yeah. towards you. No. The shapes of wolves. And among them, coming from two sides, are two larger ones with purple glowing eyes and jaws dripping with um, saliva. I'm just trying to find them again. Oh, zoom in and hands. Should be a little bit further away. Zoom in and hands. Uh, yeah, okay. I you ship see them? Yeah, I, I shall ship oh, yeah. see. Ship see. Why is it? Why is it not? Ship said? Ah, oh, ship yeah. said. I'm sorry. It said it to me. Um, I'm like, see, see, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. It's spooky. Well, it comes to a saddle. It no, comes to a saddle. So. Is, is that a? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a saddle there. You're seeing things. The What's growth. The tumor. The tumor. <laughs> it's not a Our objective just changed. Not the tumor. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. I feel like That's practice scary. objective just changed. <laughs> You're the puppies. Yes. All right, let's uh, roll some initiative. You know that they're there, they know that you are there, so no surprise rounds. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna cl climb on a Colossus thing to use a tree. <laughs> Wait, how do you do what next? Uh, you need to uh, uh, put in the time and effort to do that. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> it's just 1d20, isn't it? Plus dexterity, That's right? Your yeah, dexterity, yeah, and you yeah. have Ow. initiative on your dexterity, uh, Carlos. I have initiative. Oh yeah. no. Uh, is it plus one? You have dexterity plus two, right? Yes. You have a fourteen. Yes. So you plus roll two? plus two twice. Huh? Oh, okay, so dexterity plus two plus two. No, 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 you no. roll it twice because you have advantage. Oh, I am so sorry. No, no. Don't worry okay, about so it. it's 1d20 plus 2, yes, and then mm. just roll twice. Do it. Do it. Sorry! Do sorry! Do it now! <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, so I got 17. So. Wow, okay. And puppers be super alert. They are not ready. Okay, and 17 for you. And... Okay, awesome. And then we do... Boop. Uh, there we go. Alright, Illyria. You uh, react fast to the threat. What do you want to do? Uh, okay. Um... Uh, she will... Uh... I mean, can I can I just throw a uh, fireball at this one? Yeah, that you may. I keep trying to uh, pull up my uh, cheat on wall twenty, which isn't working because we're playing Frostbark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that can be a little bit hard. Yikes! Yikes! Indeed! No. Uh, Yikes for me, yeah. dog. Yeah, I no. wanted to do something when we started, but I forgot because we were talking about it. Uh, so I have the uh, soul thingy, whatever, I get on third level, the gift. Mm -hmm. uh, the soul gift. You want to activate the yeah. soul gift? I have martial powers, which uh -huh. I can give myself plus two AC for a combat. Mm, then do so. Yes. Right. You um, 
draw upon the power that is trapped within, and uh, uh, you start to glow like uh, like a <laughs> mage armor, but it comes from within. Uh, just a soft little glow. Yes. Um, that's an action. That's a bonus action. Do you want to move? Uh, no, I think I'll stay here for now. All right. Safety of the fire. All right. Crocus, you up? I'm up. I can move and attack. Uh, move then attack. Yes. Yes. Okay. So immediately, Crocus is in war mode. He's like, -la 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 -la, and he <laughs> runs over to the like stuff over here to take cover. Uh -huh. He brings out his short bow. He's aiming for. Uh huh. For. He's aiming for this one. Okay. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. The big bad wolf. Okay. Yeah. So he w he's got his short bow out. He's aiming. He's pulling back on the strength, and he fires now. Uh -huh. uh, I have to roll to hit first, don't I? Yes, you do. Alright, so it's 1d20. And that's plus 4, wasn't it? Plus 6, because you get plus 2 for your archery. Ah, I got none! 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Yeah, is that right? Oh my god! Of course, you roll a net 20! Of course. Why? they aiming for an eye. <laughs> with an eye. Okay. <clears throat> Did so, you. Uh, yep. you did you pick up a uh, Colossus layer or Hunter for this level? Uh, well, yeah, that's a good point. For I hunter. think, yeah, I was gonna add, I was gonna add this damage on in a sec. Uh, it was Colossus Slayer, so yeah, one extra, one d8. Uh, no, that's damage. So you deal two to six plus two d8 plus yeah. two. One d8 plus. Two. Alright, 1d6, 1d8, there we go. Whoa! Twice. You need to roll it twice. So you oh, get yeah. double oh. roll 1d6 and 1d8 again. Yeah, not the, not the two. Ah. Okay, it's 12 damage. <gasps> um, you uh, aim for the eye and indeed you take one out and it howls and whimpers in, in pain. But the other one is um, still determined to eat your guts. Me, but specifically? <laughs> of course you, I mean. Yeah. It's because I smell so good. <laughs> nah. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this no, point, it's just delicious it. revenge rather than anything. All right. So that's it for my turn. Okay. So, awesome. oof. So, oof. Mm. Um, so... Wait. Yeah. Wait. Who? Who did he kill? Oh no, he, uh, he wounded uh, this one. Oh, over he here. didn't. Uh, yeah, it's it's currently got it's only got one eye at the moment. It's a cyclops. Uh, I'm going to wait. This is bonus action. Okay. I'm going to... What's this one? Uh, you charge forward, mall in I'm hand. I'm gonna proclaim judgment. Ooh, good judgment. I was pretty sure I was gonna go with... Uh, ire, because I'm angry of not being... Uh, of them interrupting dinner and then sleep. Uh, <laughs> you will not let it slide against you, mm. idiot. Go unpunished. You, uh... Yes, yes. Let me bring up my maul. All right. And I'm gonna slam it down. Okay. On uh, the enemy. On the wolf. 17. To yes. Hit. Your maul connects with sinew and bone. Okay, and then it's a uh, 2d6 plus 4. Yes. 12 Ooh. damage. Oh, competition. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's not looking as certain about things. It's um, cowering a little bit. Um, one of his legs seems to have uh, taken quite a toll there. And um, it's looking around. Oh, it's actually supposed to be 13 damage. Oh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot the iron bonus. Oh, okay, yeah. 
No. Much importante. And it yeah. looks ready to flee. Um, Nix. Nice. Uh, I will, uh, I mean, look around and see that uh, there's some activity going on in there, but uh, also, no one's taking care of the other side. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> yeah. I oh. might, so I got you next turn. Maybe. Oh, by the way, I, I forgot to say. Hmm? As you walk uh, uh, towards the wolf and um, slams it with your uh, maul, Sir Uth, yes, mm. um, you see that the wolf is wearing a necklace. Um, just some kind of hempen rope attached to a plank where it says welcome on in mm? blood te yeah, bloody text. Oh. Prank, yeah, huh? Yeah. Attracted to the post. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly pranks. Next yeah, you, you, you brought a post. <clears throat> Sorry. You should have left it there. Uh, so he's gonna like look around and uh, like uh, see, see this one over here, mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to um, yeah, take a breath, and his uh, tattoo will flare up on his uh, on his jaw, and um, he Shines will cast guide. Yep, yeah, like a purple uh, lance comes out of his hand and flows straight towards this El Paparino over here. Aye. Uh <clears throat> Damn! Damn! All right, the uh, paparino is <laughs> skewered on your um, spear of uh, of radiant light, though purple, and another loud whimper is uh, is heard. All of the. Uh, Wolves look a little bit uncertain about themselves right now. They're like, mm, uh, mm. okay. <laughs> and then he'll uh, kind of like move to like a, a better position. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so he can move six, I believe. Yes. To just uh, be able to see both parties do what they do. Oh, and nice. That will be his turn. Oh, these guys go first. All right, it's time for the big hulking beasts with uh, purple glowing eyes. Um, let's roll here a quick um, salt check. Oh, damn. Oh, I need um, to do my salt check, right? Mm, indeed. It's a d20 plus four, or? Um, yes, you uh, spell casting modifier plus your uh, proficiency bonus. Uh, oh, yeah, no, no worries, it doesn't bother <laughs> you at all. Um, the the die wolf over here looks ready to, to flee, but um, the um, gleam of revenge um, takes over its mind. It can be seen in his eyes. And it attempts to uh, to bite the big menace in front of it. That hits. All right. Uh, dealing fourteen damage in a quite vicious bite, uh, getting at your um, left forearm. Um, I also need you to do a bronze saving throw, if you would please. No problem. Twenty. He oofed it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no worries. Okay. And um, the other one here is um, itching to get into battle. Um. I kinda wanna go for Nyx, but there are people in front, so he's just gonna run over here and bite at the bigger target. Which will be crack as them known, because he's standing on a box right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, it's Lyria. And um, Lyria definitely take a step to the side. And the lunch miss misses. Alright. 
and then we have now the wolves that look small in comparison. This one doesn't get it all the way. Over there. But this one, I'm sure. Yes. Okay, an attack at Crocus at advantage because they have pack tactics. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, nasty bite is no, incoming. No, man. Can I do a saving throw? <laughs> it was against your AC, well. so no. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, little one. Wow, this little one's tanky for a little one. <laughs> Oops. So this translates to. <clears throat> uh, Becky and you having her revenge. Uh, <laughs> you need to do a, a bronze saving throw too. Me? Yes, you. Saving throw with brawn. Yes. So it's just a flat 1d20 for you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you fall prone. You fall oh. on your ass. So damage wise, what have I received? Uh, so 26, does that mi does the AC minus it? No. no. It's only the, the chance to hit. Like, the higher AC you have, the less of a chance that the enemy hits. But I rolled a okay. critical hit, so that's automatic, automatic hit. Okay, so I'm now bleeding from the face. Thank you. <laughs> Possibly a scar nice. left behind on his forehead. Nice. It's always the forehead. <laughs> it's a big oh. bloody head. <laughs> All right, and then we have uh, two attacks at uh, advantage against Sir Uth. Sir Uth. Oh, uh, no. Nineteen and eighteen. Both hit. All right. Oh, this is 21 damage. 21? 21. Jeez, I'm unconscious. Oh my god. How? No. How? What? Wow! Wow! <laughs> what do you mean? We're level 3 and you do 20 damage to me twice in two turns in one round. The 40 damage. Oh, right, they dealt damage with the Direwolf too. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. Gandalf! No, it's Oof. <laughs> um, Alright, and we're back at Lyria. Okay. So, uh... My... My 2 AC... If I... If I use the, uh... Gift... Uh, the soul gift that allows me to cast haste. Mm -hmm. Would that also add to my AC again? Uh, does uh, haste, haste increases AC, right? Yeah, it's yeah. another plus two. Yeah, definitely. Okay, then I'm going to uh, <laughs> use that to cast haste on myself as a bonus action. Cool. Two attacks. Guy. And uh, attack this guy twice. <laughs> the big guy? Yeah. Cool. Go for it. Uh, yes. That definitely. You appear. Pierces, uh, oh my god! Let's go. So close, though. Maybe you should pick up champion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Do some damage. Yeah. Dammy. Dams. Some dammies. Dams in there. That's 2d6. Mm -hmm. Plus. Two attacks, so that would be two times my. Yes, indeed. I 
think that's right. Uh, do you have a modifier of plus six? I have the plus two from dueling. Oh! Oh, I see! Oh, I see! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! You pierce this this um, dire wolf straight into the heart, a la baby style. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and he just slumps down on the ground dead. And these and guys... <laughs> immediately grow like... Uh, uh, very unsure if they should continue fighting when their alpha is dead. Alright, do you want to do anything else? No, that is... Uh, Damn! What an attack. Nice. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you're prone. And you can use half your movement to stand up. I would definitely use half my movement. Absolutely. Alright, you use three movement to stand up. Alright, and I can go to an attack, obviously. Yes. Um, I would bring up the ladle in, in melee combat. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm on a box. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. It's ladle time. Well, you can still use the, the shopper if you want to, but you will get disadvantage. No, 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 no. That would just, that would just be silly. Even for uh, this note, that would be too silly. <laughs> okay. But I get to use the, the thingy from before. Yes, I think it's once per turn, right? Uh, once per turn, yes. So welcome to my turn. Yeah, if it's below, oh. it's hit on maximum. I was about to do the thing without actually rolling if I actually hit or not. That's important okay. to do. Oh! That hit, Sadly, yes. you, your ladle connects with the wolf, but it only growls at you. You did not hit it hard enough for it to... Uh, <laughs> Deal any damage, Sally. Fluffy demon. <laughs> I'm gonna stand my ground though because I am meat shield today. Okay. All right. <laughs> so oof, a uh, straight one d twenty, please. Mhm. Mm All right. One success. Ooh. <laughs> Dodging and weaving. Nyx? I call out to Sir Oof, who is like clearly like uh, lying down on the job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's not time to sleep yet, big man. And I'll cast, um, uh, you'll see the, the tattoo flares up again in the night and cast Healing Word uh, on Sir Oof. Nice. As, as a bonus action. Mm-hmm. For a max healing. Ooh, damn. And uh, so chic? Uh, so chic is... I think it should be higher than plus four for you, though. It sh shouldn't be uh, two... Uh, what do you have in your spellcasting um, ability score? Manipulation, you have 18, right? Uh, yeah, which is a plus four. Oh yeah, and then you add your proficiency. So. Oh, yes. oh! I've been doing things wrong then. Um, <laughs> if my spell casting modifier includes my proficiency, whoops. Yes. No, um, no, 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 my bad. So, so you I get a actually, plus six my yeah, spell casting. You, uh, you th that makes you keep it. Otherwise, you <laughs> would have lost it. Uh, so you keep it, and uh, oof. So that means um, oof gets an additional two because it's a plus six. Oh! Oh yeah yeah yeah. Nice. Health. So you get 10 health. Nice. Nice. And um, as I say, uh, as his eyes um, open, um, I say, uh, Daylight is yet to be burning! And I'll cast a Sacred Flame on the, the Alpha next to him. Uh, that's, uh, that's my action. Cool. Oh, yeah, I, I need to do things. Oh, uh, it's a step. That's okay. With uh, one still gleaming eye and the other one just a gushing flood of blood rolling down his, his nose. Um, yeah. 
Oh, that's everything. This one takes a few steps back and looks at things and see how things turn out. Uh, these run over here and attack Nyx. Why oh, didn't I get a turn? Oh no, his turn was yeah, after mine. Never mind. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> For some reason, I thought uh, his turn was before mine. <laughs> nope. Ooh, damn. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Poppers be hungry tonight. I'm so I sorry. I will cast shield. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, yeah, I'll cast... Okay. Uh, mm, that's only gonna... Wait, you go to 19, 21... To, oh, okay, it doesn't matter if I cast yeah. shield. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, she's rolling <laughs> like, ruthlessly yeah. tonight. Hungry oh, no. Puppers? Damn, I'm rolling really good. All right. all right, bites come from every direction, assailing Nyx, drawing blood. Um, this one finally catches up, but I don't... I do have... Hmm, how does it... All right, no, it definitely works. Okay, so, um, attack Question, at... Question, mm -hmm. um, If you're prone, do you get an opportunity attack? Um, if you stand up close to it? Uh, if you are prone and a, uh, a creature leaves your space, do you get an opportunity attack? That's oh, yeah. a good question. At a disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Maybe. Um, a disadvantage. doesn't say anything uh, against it, then you can't, so that definitely means uh, that I will allow it. They think you're down, so I will allow you to make uh, an opportunity to attack against one of them. It's the disadvantage, right, though, because you, uh, when you're prone, you attack with disadvantage, right? Usually right? in D&D, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, the first one to leave my third range was this one, right? Yep. Indeed it was. It was indeed. Yeah. Wow. Why do I say indeed so much? Indeed indeed. Dude. Indeed. indeed. <laughs> then I'll no, be tilker. taking... You say indeed uh, a lot. Indeed. First. Two D. Second. <laughs> it hits, right? Yes, it does. Maybe you can actually do it. Um, is your iron still up? Uh, I can roll that two again. My IO should be up, so I forgot to put that in. Yeah, as long as you're in combat. Um, so, 11 damage? No, no, I can roll the uh, two again. Oh, do you have a great weapon? All right, yeah. And uh, let's just add a smite to that. Oh. So, an extra oh, 10 have... damage. Okay. How and... does that mm -hmm. look? Uh, from being prone? Yeah. Uh, as soon as he turns to leave, my maul is conveniently placed right below his mouth, and I just... Whack! Whack him up. Uh... Damn. Shatters jaw. Mm. And uh, he falls to the, the ground, um, groaning and whimpering until it stops twitching. Good job. Even from the ground, you're deadly. <laughs> Like a mushroom. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. We had uh, two two attacks. Uh, no, one attack against Illyria at advantage, and one attack against Crocus without advantage. I will no! say that I shouldn't be prone anymore. Should I not be prone anymore? No. Yeah. Yet. So yeah, you stood up. Yeah, you stood up. All right. I am so sorry. <laughs> She's ruthless tonight. A 19 doesn't hit me, by the way. Oh my god, that's wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Here comes Johnny. 
All right, Crocus. These yes. wolves are just teeth, claw, blood, fur in your face. You are being mauled. And you take another 18 damage. So, when I run out of hit points, mm. you're unconscious. I'm, un I'm just unconscious. Oh, I'm having a nice dream. Oh, sweet. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay. Okay, awesome. so I'm having a nice dream. I'm in La La Land. Um, well, I guess no saving throws or anything will help me in this situation. I, they will be on your next turn, a saving throw to see if um, if you start bleeding out or not. <laughs> uh, yeah. But in the meantime, um, Illyria, <sighs> do you want to do some more stabbies? I mean, yeah, I, I think that sounds good, so, uh... Save the gnome! <laughs> uh, I also think you have uh, a potion on you. Do Good to I should remember. Probably, I should probably use one of my actions. <laughs> mm. To give Krakus a potion. <laughs> No, no, he... don't worry about it. He's a stout little mushroom man. He'll be fine. Just kill all the wolves. <laughs> you do have three turns on you until he properly bleeds out. So, are you willing yeah. to risk it? For a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of my actions to give him a uh, potion. So that's uh Okay. That's a random question. How are these potions delivered in a sense? Like can you just pour it on somebody's head and it heal them or do they have to drink it? What's that? The potions. Yeah. Mm hmm Or is it just a grey area? It's just it works. <laughs> I think I actually have to give it to them, but if I could, I would just smash it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was muted. I said the answer, but I was muted. Uh, you, uh, they're uh, force fed to you. You had to drink yeah. it. So, um, 2d4 plus 2, right? Yes. It could be worse, so that's 7. Nice. Do I need to heal past the damage that was added, or is it once it uh, exceeds your hit points, um, you just ignore the rest of the damage that's going through? Yeah, you you basically ignore the rest of the damage unless the damage is equal to, um, unless you go down to minus twice your normal hit points. Um, if that is the case, then you outright die immediately, like you're disintegrated. There's nothing to to heal. Lovely. But you were not at that point. Yay! Yay! Okay. Uh, so you, uh, Ilira, uh, one more. You were gonna do an attack. Uh, yes. Uh, one attack and um, one uh, bonus for martial arcadist. Exactly. Cool. No. No, steady Nord. But we have the bonus section for the shop king grasp. No. <laughs> well, you know, if you, you helped Krakus, that's something. Yeah. Alright, Krakus, you come too. There's a warm feeling spreading through your body by some kind of liquid that has been forced down your throat. Like you hot soup. To. Yeah, like hot soup. I rise up, jumping on my, you know, jumping up to my feet, using half my movement speed, so I'm not prone. Yay. Yes, and I raise up my ladle, and uh -huh. I'm gonna bring it down on this wolf. All right, do it. And as he shouts out, yeah. "You've been gnomed! <laughs> and I need to write this in. All right, uh, one, two, two, two. Da, 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 da. still plus six. Isn't it? Uh, plus four. Um, plus you four. only get the plus two when you use your bow. Oh, okay. I will learn eventually. Oh! Hey. Bugger! 
It's just like, you've been gnomed! And it just poof <laughs> off the top. You're still a little bit groggy. Poof. Alright. So, oof. Yes. I am going to stand up. Yes. You rise uh, from the ground. Move here. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. For the flanky. Smack him. Right. Roll with advantage. advantage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Another smash with the mall. Smashing. Mm. Smashing. Oh! Bonk. Uh, you <laughs> just shatter immediately its skull. <laughs> oh, wow. Dies out try from one attack. And uh, zoop. And uh, you actually dealt 17 damage there. That's true. I always forget to edit the uh, thingy. It's okay. Uh, is there a move over here? Yeah. Right. And um, oh yeah, of course. Uh -huh. Wait, is Parker still uh, down? And uh, no. no, he he's he's up. Yeah, I missed I missed a bit because there was somebody calling me. Uh, oh. uh, oh, not that important. A portion <laughs> was uh, fed, force fed to him. Okay, okay. Uh, then um, I'm just no. Wait, is lay on hands an action? That's an action, right? Yeah, I it's an action. Yeah, it's an action. Yeah. It says putting on an, uh, another creature, but I'm guessing on yourself is also an action, so... As an action, you can touch a creature. Yeah, so it's for yourself as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, and then I'm done. Okay. Uh, uh, um, all right, Nyx. I'm gonna um, look at the fact that the tide of the battle is turning and I'm gonna slick back my hair and say, We've got it, everybody! We've got it in the bag! And uh, <laughs> you all feel good about yourself and get five temporary hit points. Ooh, nice. Sweet, needed. And you can uh, you can move if you want to. Uh, oh, we can half, move? No. You can move yeah. half your speed with no opportunity attacks. Yes. I'm good. <laughs> Okay. Um, so that was my bonus action, and then I'm gonna look at Mr. Pupper in front of V and say, uh -huh. uh, "Chew on this," and I will uh, <laughs> cast Poison Spray in his face. Oh! Uh, Vitality save. Vitality. Oh no! Huh. Certainly mm -hmm. not. It whimpers as its uh, fur is zinched. All right. Awesome. Um, those are dead. And these are left, and they might not feel so good about themselves. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. This one disengages, and then. <laughs> Um, this one also disengages and runs away. Well, this one doesn't attack before it goes. Very irritated that the thing in front of it is continues to pop up and down all the time, but misses and then uh, goes and run away. You get an opportunity attack, Krakus. Marcus? Sean? You dead? You dead? You dead. Stunned by the fact that it left its space. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. Alright. Uh, a wolf uh, ran, ran out of your threat range without disengaging. Do you want to attack it? Uh, with a ladle? Mm -hmm. That question. Alright. 1 is 20 plus 4. Oh, thank you. I will get an education. I'll do 20 plus 4 and a... Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. 
hit the poof again. It's, yeah, its confidence was actually um, rightly placed that it could run away from you and still do an attack. I like right. to imagine that it was the same thing that um, Sir Oof did, and it was just like oh, instead of a wall, we got a lady on a raise it up, hoping to do some damage, and all just as it <laughs> passed the floof through the tail. <laughs> Yes. All right, they uh, they indeed turn tail and uh, tries to run away. Uh, does anyone pursue? No, I ain't running after the wolves. Come back. <laughs> they are like quite a, fast. Cast a, like a sacred flame at one of them as they're running away, since it'll be my yeah. I'd like to try. Away. I'd like to try to set one spot on fire. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's do a sacred flame and a firebolt. Active. Yes. The 14 hit. Uh, indeed, it does. Touches <laughs> a flame. Uh, it's 16, I guess. Uh, you have DC 14 now. That one does not hit. And yeah, more D10. Elia, are you rolling yes. your body oh. oh! Oh! Oh, oh god! Nice. Yeah, it, it looks quite rough actually. It's quite badly singed as it runs away with a, with a whimper. It's like, <laughs> don't Imagine come back! Exploded. <laughs> the pooper. Oh no, it's not, it's not actually that. But it's... Oh wow, why, why doesn't it. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> and they, um, they uh, run away. And um, the uh, Cleary goes uh, calm and silent once more, except for the sounds of the night. I mean, that was bracing. Well, no. Uh, is everyone okay? Um, Krakus, you, you, he's gonna rush over to Krakus. Are you okay, my, my little friend? I'm okay, but we got free meat! Always oh, thinking of your stomach. He's alright, everybody. He's alright. <laughs> he just topples over. <laughs> that was quite impressive, uh, Sir Oof. Um, really brave of you. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Once I heal up. You just lay hands on me. Myself. I? You just watch you feel yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Walking me. Oh. Harassing myself. Oh no, no. What actually happens is you just <laughs> oof touches his um, torso um, and a. Um... <laughs> that makes it worse. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're kind of awesome. Awesome. just lays a hand on his torso. Nipple? Okay. No. <laughs> And a um, a light of um, of um, light blue starts to shine, and uh, when some of his wounds starts to uh, reside, disappear. Um, that looks interesting. Um, got enough to go around? No. I see. Um, well, uh, Eliria, are you doing okay? Are you are you gravely injured? Do you need healing? They didn't manage to hit me. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Just <laughs> consent. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, this I'm is, more uh... worried about Krakus. I, I mean, I... Yeah, he's badly hurt at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Yeah. Uh, a, a good uh, night's rest and uh, some uh, hearty wolf stew, perhaps. Good uh, help. Yes. Yes. That would help greatly. Oh. Krakus is damaged mentally now, so he doesn't speak normally. <laughs> oh. I mean, that would have been pretty traumatizing. It was a lot of blood and teeth there for a second. Yes. Right. Yeah. Me. 
Right, you have uh, a wolf corpse um, together with the skill of um, Sir Uth and um, Krakas. It's no um, no problem uh, skinning it and uh, turning it into stew and jerky again. Um, it's not as much meat on a um, uh, wolf that is uh, edible. <laughs> so it is enough for... Well, you already had food for night, right? You already used the, the ra rations. So yeah, we already had food. Yeah, so the this wolf can turn into four four uh, rations during the night. Cool. That means we're up to eight. Uh, well, you, didn't you spend four tonight? Oh, yes. So I was expecting some people not to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting breed of wolf. Edible wolf. Uh, am I aware of the fact, like, in this area, is it natural for wolves to be prowling in, like, attacking camps? Yes. Um, usually, though, you heard stories of this happening to Barovians. Not Vistani camps. So for you, oh, really? it's new. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We usually had some um, incense or something to drive them away. They never really attacked us, but uh, I guess they thought we were Barovians. Uh. And across all of the, the necks of the corpses that lie here is uh, rough uh, hempen rope around their, their necks that leads to a um, little wooden placard in front of them where it says welcome i have a feeling that this was somehow planned unless somebody has a very um odd sense of humor I thought they would be happy to have some foreigners come in and meet the Count, but maybe not. Do the eyes still glow on the big beast? Mm, it's faded away quite a lot, but there's still that a little bit unnatural light. It's dimming mm. by the second. Crockers. This is clearly a, a beast who uh, uh, could carry um, some essences with it. Oh, right. So I can take essences from something like this. Indeed. Oh, oh. If you okay. figured out what could be done. Okay, can I, um, w what would we call this? Investigate, investigate the body? Do an autopsy? What are we doing? Uh, we're doing alchemy cunning. Alchemy cunning. Okay, so basically I crawl inside it. <laughs> oh, well, no. you prod around it, and uh, with your um, knowledge of um, of the, uh, the essences, how they vibrate, how they look, how they feel, you, you, instinctly can feel the the tiny amount of magic that they give off hmm. and maybe you might able to to find one so i do a 1d20 plus 6 yes. and 5 yes. yes i think it's just 5 because it's cunning okay All right. Um. Oh yes, yes you do. Um, the thumb claws on the front of this uh, beast of a wolf 
does carry the distinct uh, trace of essence. The, the thumb claw uh, is um, on the other side of the paw. It's uh, like a... Two a claw. Yeah, exactly. So, so two claws per wolf. Hmm. And since there's two, I'll get four out of them. Yes, indeed. Oh, nice. And then you can try to identify them if you want to. Yes, and also the suspicious uh, powder that is there. Oh, not yeah, quite yeah. sure what it is, but... <laughs> Alright, let's do two identifying rolls as well. Um... Was it yourself rolling or was it me? I roll on these. If you do like this checks, these alchemy checks and stuff um, to, to extract essences from them, does that mean you can't mutilate them for souls? Uh, you can mutilate them for, for souls. This is just a small uh, body part that we're taking, basically. Yeah. With, like a trace I mean, of magic in it. Do you want to mutilate them for souls? I, um, no, no. I, I think uh, if you need it, go ahead. I, I have uh, enough for the moment. I have like none at all. Yeah. I have one. Oh god, you should take She's one. A soulless woman. <laughs> Lyria, take one. Take one. Okay. Um who uh, how many and from who? You take it from the small wolves or the big one? I mean I guess I'll try the big one. How does Illyria's soul ritual look like? How does she claim souls? That is a very good question indeed. Does she do it the normal, like, warrior's way of uh, mutilating the corpse in some way of showing your superiority? Or does Illyria have something unique to her ritual? I don't think she has, honestly. Maybe she, she hasn't gotten to that yet. Not find herself yet. That's, that's good with that, yeah, and not my lack of creativity. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Alright, um, you focus on the corpse, and, and how, do you, how do you mutilate it or prove that you're better? Uh... I, I'm not sure how much, like, liberty I can take this, uh... I mean, you should be done... possible to do during an action in combat. So you, you can take souls as an action in, in combat if you need to. No, I mean just, like... Oh. Maybe just, like, uh... You know, put her, uh, put her rapier through it again, like. Uh huh. And through the rapier, she draws the soul, maybe. Yeah. She's his soul weapon. Yeah. All right. Uh, your um, rapier starts to uh, gleam in a in a red light as a little globule of uh, energy moves up uh, up it and into your hand, which you have your soul marked, don't you? Yes, but oh. actually the other one, so I imagine this like little red uh, thing just kind of like moving up the rapier before maybe getting loose and getting over like because uh -huh. her, her soul mark is on her other, uh, right, other half. Left, yeah, right. You attack with the rapier on the right and do magic with the left, yeah. right? So it goes into the hilt and then uh, gets absorbed into your left hand that you hold up. Cool. Alright. Uh, well, are you, there's one soul power over here, and then there's one soul power over there. Uh, do you mind? Please, uh, take it. And as okay. for Krakus, you believe that the direwolf clause uh, includes uh, one salt, and the dust um, either... 
Oh wait, God, I'm sorry. Either and so. No problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. Or Mercury. Either and Mercury. Okay. Um, anyone want to claim the little wolfie? I'm okay for now. I am a little bit wounded, but uh, the, you don't have to claim every soul. <laughs> He's on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually does have a... fired a few from a thing that didn't happen <laughs> yet. It actually don't have a soul <laughs> enough to, to take. All right. You will breathe. Push away some some sweat. Clean up some blood. Maybe in the pool over here. Hmm. Sure. Uh, Nix will definitely want to clean himself up. And all the while, those. Uh, Welcome signs written in blood taunts and teases your brains. What could it mean? And I think at that point we will wrap up this first episode of Curse of Mother Mystery. Mystery? Misery. <laughs> <laughs>